Nearly two weeks after the deadly shootout that claimed the lives of two innocent victims, new details from the law enforcement investigation, which is just beginning. Good afternoon. Today, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement laid out much of the evidence that's been gathered so far. It comes on the same day family members and friends held a memorial service for Richard Cutshaw. CBS 4's Joan Murray is in Miramar with more. We know that it happened, but you wake up every morning and you think about how it happened and, and you just you can't believe it. The grieving family of Richard Cutshaw still trying to come to terms with his death. Cutshaw, a union rep on his way home from work, was killed in the crossfire of that shootout between police and two jewel thieves on Miramar Parkway. A celebration of Cutshaw's life was held at Scarano Pines Memorial Chapel. He was forthright. He didn't try to be anything he wasn't. And um, he just loved people and I guess looks like people loved him. He was fair to deal with. He was honest, didn't hold a grudge. He, uh, he just did his job and represented the workers. Our condolences go to the friends and family of the two innocent victims who lost their lives in this tragic event. The service coinciding with a roundtable discussion on the shootout that has rattled so many. The shootout was captured on numerous cell phone cameras. Cutshaw and UPS driver Frank Ordonez died, as well as the two suspects. We have recovered thus far thousands of hours of videos. Each officer has to be able to explain what threat they saw and, and then make uh, that justification as to why they pulled the trigger a certain number of times. Still so many questions and what will be a long investigative process. The people who knew and loved Richard Cutshaw say what matters is he will live on in their hearts. It is a loss, not just for a wonderful person, but a wonderful, um, effective force for working people, and he just cared about everyone. That's a terrible loss for everyone who knew Richard Cutshaw. Now, Florida Department of Law Enforcement says it's going to take a very long time to complete their investigation. Any information they receive will be turned over to the state attorney's office. The state attorney will determine if the police officers who fired those shots followed the law. In Hollywood Tonight, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.